This video is for anyone with bladder urgency, frequency, or difficulty with emptying bladder uh, because their nervous system is a little uh, wonky. Um, so in order to use a TENS unit, I use the TENS 7000, it's like $32 on Amazon. Um, you wanna make sure that you don't have a pacemaker, you don't already have an electrical stimulator somewhere else in your body, you don't plan on going to sleep or working heavy machinery. I tell people, um, I make people in the clinic do this kind of multitasking. So I'll put this on someone uh, and then I'll do some manual therapy at their ribs, at their stomach and you know, make sure pelvis is in alignment. Um, and then maybe a couple of little exercises, but you don't want to like go put this on your ankle and then go do yard work because you're just going to be too mobile and you're more likely to have it disconnect and get stuck on something. Uh, so... 7, 10, 7,000 bladder urgency frequency or the ability to, for the bladder to stay and hold urine longer. So I like people to do it right before they go to bed. That way maybe you can go to the restroom a lot less often at night, if at all. We were made to hold urine all night long. We produce less saliva. Our, bladder, our body should go into rest and digest and just start holding and storing um, waste that we're producing all night long. So here we go. So the tinge unit is going to look like this. I have it hooked up to my electrodes. I'll, I'll go over all the settings. The placement is on the tibial nerve. So the body is super cool. And we have a bunch of uh, different things happening all at one time. But one of them is the tibial nerve, the posterior tibial nerve to be exact has a branch that goes to the bladder to help do some uh, some things there. And then that same nerve comes down our inner thigh, goes down in between, between our knees, and then wraps around our ankle and goes to our great toe. So it has a motor component that actually wiggles our great toe um, just all the time. We're not even thinking about it. So we're gonna use that great toe motor component uh, at, down at the ankle to actually calm things down up in our bladder. So uh, I have a number one and a two for different settings. You can either put this on the inside of your foot right here and right above the back side of your ankle um, and make sure that it makes your toe wiggle whenever you crank it up a little too high. I have several people that actually doesn't work for them. So then um, you can shift the whole thing up so where you're on the back in between your heel and your ankle as so that's where I put electrode number one and then you're going to use two pads up and that's where two is going to go so either you can put them here that's what I, I typically like to do I feel like I just get a really um really more specific tibial nerve uh innervation uh, activation right there but some people a little more specific is right here uh, and so you'll just kind of try to trial and error I know that it works really fine for me uh further down on my foot I meant to actually use a rubbing alcohol pad and that just allows your um, electrodes to work longer. The TENS unit will come with four, so two, two by two, you know, two inches by two inches, um, but they'll work longer if your foot is super clean. So just using that rubbing alcohol and then placing it one right there, the other one between on the back side of the malleoli and then turning this on. So I have it at normal. I have the width, it can be anywhere from 200 to 300, and I have the rate at 10. So go ahead and take your time and turn yours up to that. Um, this simple little TENS unit can, can also be used for low back pain, and then the settings are different. We can use it for muscle activation, either at the pelvic floor or different muscle groups that aren't activating the way that you want them to. Um, but for bladder stimulation, uh, is at the rate is at 10. And then I changed my time to 20 minutes just because I'm gonna watch a 20 minute show. Uh, might as well just use it the whole time while it's on. And then you just slowly turn this on. Usually this only goes up to zero and eight. Um, usually people can't feel anything until you get to three. And then I don't know anyone that can really handle it higher than four. Um, and so I'm at three and I can already start to feel it at the inside of my foot. And then I'm gonna crank it up just a little bit. So I'm at like three, a little over three, and I can feel it right here. I'm gonna go up a little bit higher and see if I can, oh, there goes my toe. So I'm gonna show you my toe. So this is what happens as I slowly turn this up. So I'm at 
uh, like two, and then I'm at three. I'm starting to feel it. And then if I go up any higher, then my toe starts doing some weird thing. And that's how I know that I'm at uh, the tibial nerve. It's pretty intense. It feels like and it hurts actually right there. So I'm actually gonna turn it uh, from normal. I'm gonna change the mode to modulation. And so now it's still, it's like this, like da, 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 And you can still see that my toe is activating. So I'm still gonna go down a little bit. So you don't wanna get your toe um, working. Um, and then I have it for the 17 uh, minutes more. And then this is just doing its own thing while I'm watching TV and relaxing. So I hope that that is helpful and know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank you. God bless.